In 1979, residents of the city of Richmond, Virginia were in a state of fear as a trio of brothers wreaked havoc in the community, committing a series of random and brutal murders. Linwood, born July 7, 1952, was the oldest of the Briley brothers. James Jr. was born on June 6, 1954, and Anthony was born on February 17, 1956. The boys were known around town for helping neighbours with yard work, as well as repairing cars. They also collected exotic pets, such as tarantulas, piranhas, and boa constrictors, and would enjoy feeding small animals to them. The Brileys would take part in theft and drug deals around the local area, but Linwood had desires to commit more serious crimes, and at just 16 years old, he would kill for the first time. On January 28, 1971, Armed with a rifle, he opened up his bedroom window and shot his 57-year-old neighbour, Orlean Christian, as she was hanging out some laundry on her clothesline. The crime almost went unidentified, but her relatives noticed a small bloody mark under her armpit at the viewing, and asked a funeral director to re-examine the body. Upon a second examination, a small calibre bullet wound was discovered under her armpit. Investigators traced the shot to Linwood's window, and the boy confessed and coldly said, I heard she had heart problems, she would have died soon anyway. He was sent to reform school and served one year for the killing. In 1979, the Briley brothers along with an accomplice named Duncan Meekins terrorised the city of Richmond, Virginia. They executed a number of robberies at first, but their worst was yet to come. On March 12th, Linwood knocked on the door of an elderly couple, William and Virginia Butcher, claiming that he had car trouble. He then forced his way into the home and held the couple at gunpoint. The gang tied them up and ransacked the house, taking anything of value. They also doused each room with kerosene, and once they were happy with what they had stolen, they lit a match and tossed it onto the fuel. Luckily, Meekins had not tied the butcher's bonds tight enough, and the couple managed to escape before their house was engulfed in flames. Nine days later, Michael McDuffie wasn't as lucky. The Briley's assaulted the vending machine salesman, robbed his suburban home, and then once they were satisfied, made sure the job was done right this time, by shooting the man to death. This would be the first of many of the Briley gang's murders. Ten days later, Linwood shot and killed Edric Clark over a drug dispute involving Meekins. On April 9th, the brothers stalked 76-year-old Mary Gowan across town from her babysitting job. They broke into her home where they beat, raped, and shot her, and then stole anything of value inside the house. On July 4th, 17-year-old Christopher Phillips made the mistake of standing too close to Linwood's car. Suspecting he may have been trying to steal the vehicle, the gang dragged him into a nearby backyard, where they beat him, before Linwood dealt the final blow by dropping a cinder block onto Phillips's skull. On September 14th, popular local country western disc jockey, Johnny Gallagher stepped outside of a South Richmond nightclub between sets for a break. It is said that the Briley's noticed his shiny belt buckle, so Linwood assaulted him and put him into the trunk of his own Lincoln Continental. The gang drove him out to the ruins of a paper mill on Mayo Island, and once removed from the trunk, they shot him in the head at point-blank range. Six dollars was taken from Gallagher's wallet and split between the Briley's. They dumped his body into the James River, and it was discovered two days later. Two weeks later, the Briley's would strike again, this time the victim being 62-year-old nurse Mary Wilfong, who was stalked home to her apartment. As the gang robbed the house of valuables, Lin would beat Wilfong to death with a baseball bat. Arguably, the gang's most gruesome killings would occur just five days later, just two blocks from the Briley's home. 75-year-old Blanche Page and her boarder, 59-year-old Charles Garner, were viciously murdered. Page was beaten to death with a baseball bat, according to authorities so severe that she was unrecognisable. Garner was also beaten to death, and a pair of scissors and fork were left embedded in his back. On October 19th, Harvey Wilkerson, a longtime friend of the Briley, saw the brothers down the street, so he closed and locked his door. This action was noticed by the gang. Wilkerson was afraid of what would happen if he refused the Briley's entry, so he allowed them inside only for the group to overpower him and his pregnant wife Judy Barden. The couple, along with their five-year-old son, were bound and gagged with duct tape. The Briley's then took turns raping Barden within hearing distance of her husband and son. 
Linwood rummaged through the house for valuables and then left before Meekins shot Wilkerson, James shot Judy, and then the five-year-old boy. The family's bodies were not discovered until three days later, but a task force surveilling the area at the time of the murders helped pin them on the Brileys and Meekins. James and Anthony turned themselves in, while Linwood and Meekins were arrested after a car chase. It is said that Linwood was wearing a ring stolen from the DJ Johnny Gallagher at the time of his arrest. During interrogation by police, Duncan Meekins was offered a plea agreement in return for turning state's evidence against the Brileys. Meekins detailed the entire crime spree and escaped the death penalty and was given a life sentence plus 80 years. Anthony Briley, the youngest of the trio, was given a single life sentence due to his limited involvement in the killings. Linwood and James, on the other hand, were sentenced to death. Linwood for the Gallagher murder and James for the murder of Judy Barton and her son. The brothers were sent to Mecklenburg Correctional Centre in early 1980, but they weren't finished yet. On May 31st, 1984, Linwood and James were the ringleaders in a six-inmate escape from Virginia's death row at the Correctional Centre. They planned to kill the captured guards, but the other inmates prevented them from doing so. The escaped Brileys lived comfortably for two weeks in Philadelphia before they were captured by a heavily armed group of FBI agents and police who had determined the location of the brothers by placing wiretaps on their uncle's phone line. On October 12, 1984, Linwood Briley was executed in the electric chair. James Briley Jr. shared the same fate as his older brother on the 18th of April 1985. After all the mayhem and fear he struck into citizens of Richmond, the last thing Linwood would say before his death was, I am innocent.